Hey again, Collective. Hi. Um, I know I'm supposed to be relaxing and pushing, th you know, not pushing through um, that I'm supposed to be relaxing and going through the stages that I need to go through, but I have to transmute this energy that I am feeling. Um, I'll talk about it a bit. Um, give me a second. But uh, I'll talk about it for a little bit. Um, because I'm, I'm weird when it comes to getting bad news. I'm explosive at first, and then I mellow the fuck out really easily. Which is how I am. Um, but my family very much keeps me out of the loop. Um, and I had the unfortunate... Um, circumstance to find out of, about my dad's circumstance um, through a friend. My sister was supposed to be keeping me up to date. She hasn't, so I had to call hospice care to have them update me on things. But my dad has gone. I did. I did a rite of confirmation for those who are in danger of death uh, on my dad. Um, not when you see this video yesterday, but the day I talked like two days ago okay I'll say two days ago um and that helped him um I told him that I was okay and that I'm good and that there's no need to worry about me um which made him really relieved he was very active uh whenever I did see him nonverbal. tried to talk a lot was very active um and today he has hit a comatose state his uh, organs are no longer working. Uh, they're shutting down. But he is very peaceful, so I am glad that the divine, that God, and my angels were around me to make sure that this confirmation of death ritual went well with him um, and that it made him ease and rested him. Um, I did end up clearing him of his sins so he could rest easier, which is... A blessing for me um, that's also given me more of where I'm supposed to be. I'm going to cry talking about this. <laughs> Excuse me. But it's like more of how I'm supposed to be going on my life path. Um, I'm taking this opportunity to instead of look at the sad, to be embracing, to know that I did something right. But I was informed, sadly, out of thir third party uh, people that was happening to my father. And, and I... Even even my dad was this way. I take off after him, pretty much. Um, we work through things. Um, I like to transmute. He's more of like a bullhead army man going straight for it. So I'm kind of doing a mix of both. Um, but we will be transmuting, seeing what's going on in the energy. Surf, so service to others does help me feel better, um, regardless. Um, so I'm going to see what the energy is. Without this energy, we're going to cleanse as well. I'll get some sage up in this joint, and we'll say, and we'll cleanse up the energy. Um, so I'll be back in a minute. But yeah. Okay, we're back. Um, I did a little prayer as well. But um, yeah, I I transmute shit, honey. I am. Also, um, I got a little download as well. Um, I went to go see a movie, and I'm going to go watch it again later tonight because it was a really good movie, and I don't really watch movies that much. But um, one of the like commercials or whatever was talking about like ministry, and that really caught my eye. And it was basically very much saying, now is your time to shine. Um and that resonated very heavily with me. So that's another reason why I'm kind of just doing this reading. Um, I am okay. I am not overextending myself. Do not worry. I am meditating. I am transmuting. I am hydrating. I am making sure that I'm okay. I am working through my feelings as much as I can. Um, so do not worry about me like working too much. I am taking my breaks and I am self-caring a lot. But I also like looking out for you all too we're soul tribe or soul family and if i can just take an hour out of my day to do that that is completely fine that is an hour of resting the feeling and honestly mama like there's not much to talk you know 
So let's get into the reading. It's been five minutes. Let's get into the reading. Um, I'm not going to use the kipper. <laughs> We're not going to use the kipper. <laughs> funny one, spirit. Funny one, funny one. Um, fuck it, yeah, we'll use the... Well, see, spirit's being very ironic today. We're we'll use the ghost hero. Um... <laughs> God. Anyway, what's going on, Spirit? What's going on in the collective energy that we need to be aware of? Six of Cups upright in the sun. <gasps> yes! This could definitely be like... Yeah. Aww. This is good. Thank you. See, every time I do, like, it's been another good reading. We have the Six of Cups and the Sun. It's like, what I'm getting from this is that childhood things of yours are going to be given back to you. Not just gifts, but like childhood energy. Uh, broken memories are going to be shown to light. And you're going to be given your bodega, uh, boutique of flowers. I almost said bodega. Um, but you're going to be given your, your flowers, your gifts. You've done all the work. And it's like you've been hiding from it. Like you've been in hiding. You've been a hermit almost. Because I'm getting like a hermit energy too. Because like they're behind the curtain. They don't want to be seen by the sun. But things that have been hidden from your past are definitely coming out. Um, things aren't the same anymore. Someone has... It's like... It's like a, a reunion of your past self. With the Knight of Cups and the Eight of Cups. Yeah. Something that you walked away from is about to burst back into your life with the Queen of Cups. Yeah, this is definitely something about your past. Past emotions are being exposed. How people in your, from your past feel about you. How you're not the same. This is beautiful coming out like this. But there is some sort of reward that you were deserving of in the past um past life even for some of you but you went down the wrong path and you're able to get the, that those gifts you're able to obtain what you deserve in this life now because you went down the right path yeah eight of wands reverse eight of wands reverse this could be someone trying to stop a message from getting to you this could be someone not sending you a message about something Ace of Pentacles reverse, yeah. So someone is getting, oh. So this could be someone getting, not sending a message, and that's why they lost their gifts. Or someone was supposed to inform you about something, and they just didn't. So they're losing something in regards to that. Or someone is getting a very negative message that something that they planned has failed. Mm, yeah, I am getting like a, a like a plan failed, like a ooh, okay spirit coming through like a cult or coven has been is like falling apart. There are, there are people falling sick and ill. Okay, come through spirit. King of Wands reverse. Yeah, this, this is definitely someone who's uh, deals a lot with tyranny. Will of Fortune reverse. Damn, seven of cups. Yeah, so this is a fucking. That's a mess. This is a mess. <laughs> this is a mess. Um, you know, the Knight of Wands, the Seven of Cups, and the Wheel of Fortune all in reverse. So this is someone who's ten, uh, tentacle. This is, I don't know if I'm saying that right, whatever. They they're t they have a lot of tyranny in their system. They have a lot of aggression. Um, very negative mindset. Uh, they can't say anything nice about someone. Is <laughs> Wow, okay. This is just a negative Debbie Downer, bro. They they can't say anything positive. They can't be chipper or happy for anyone because, oh, why oh, why should I be happy for you if yada yada this, yada yada that? Well, you know what I mean? It's the energy. With the Seven of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune, both in reverse. Yeah, this is someone who's pissed off that they did not get anything they thought they were going to get. It, it, it feel like someone was trying to keep a message from getting to you. And that was how their plan was supposed to be going. But you got a plan. You got you got the message. Yeah, the full of upright justice in reverse. Someone, yeah, someone's being exposed for being corrupt. Someone may, took a leap of faith. Or someone, 
someone may have took a leap of faith. Um. To keep you away from this field of fortune. To keep you away from some sort of gift. Past, present, future, past life, like spiritual gifts. However, someone is trying to keep you blocked from that. But they're on the wrong side of justice. They made this jump. They did this thinking that it was going to be a good idea. It's like this person talked amongst a bunch of people, and this culture coven talked a bunch, like talked to each other, and said, "So, are we gonna we're gonna do this one last thing to really get collect up off on the wrong path?" And that still failed. Yeah, with the Ace of Wands reverse and the Chariot reverse. I'm picking this up with the lowest reverse. That's a bad contract with the Ace of Cups. Yeah. And the 10. Oh my God. Nah, so this with the trade reverse, I'm picking up. I'm not even getting like a halt. I'm picking up like a reversal. I feel like with the trade reverse here, it, like all this chaos is going back to someone. It's like someone, these people are falling ill, like very, very ill. Like they're emotionally ill. Let's leave it at that, you know. But the Lovers Reverse and Ace of Cups Reverse, this is a a bad contract to retract some sort of offer from getting to you. Someone was being very deceptive, someone was saying a lot of lies about you. And using the ghost deck, I am picking up this is past energy. Someone was using the past against you for sure. Yes, they were. With the Five of Wands, the Nine of Swords, and the Ace of Wands, someone was trying to make people scared of you due to how you used to be in the past or make you scared of being able to move forward with something like someone this energy is so gross because they're they might you might have i don't know been very to yourself in the past you might still be now you know what i mean but this person took that against took that and ran with it and was like oh yeah collective does a bunch of bad things they never talk to anyone for a reason only bad negative people who who are murderers and criminals don't talk to people and they ran with it. I don't know if that's true or not for y'all. But they ran with it. The Ace of Wands in the Ten of Swords reverse. Yeah. But you... This is done behind your back, I feel. You might have had hunches of this, but this never came to you directly. Um, This is giving, like... I'm only going to tell a select group few people. Because I know that they'll eat my shit and believe it. And if anyone else has an issue with it, um, they can take it up with whoever. In energy. But... Yeah, it's like you're not burdened by someone. This is someone, like, too many people see you as inspirational, as motivational, as being high vibrational to believe all this chaos. And it's like, if Collective really is such a bad person, why do, why do you look so bad? Why, do, why are your lips white if Collective's lying? You don't have... Like, why is your skin flaky? Not, you know what I mean? Like, someone looks awful. Like, sickly ill, demented ill. And they want to, like, oh, but Collective does all these things. Like, no, you're you're killing yourself with these lies at this point. You're spending so much energy lying about someone that it's actually killing you. And you need to start healing. I'm this person. I'm, mm, the Ten of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, this is definitely a corrupt fucking family that I'm picking up on with the nine of cups reverse and the ten of wands upright so these this family is heavily burdened by the path they went down for sure they were holding on to the past too much um which like they felt like they could control you could do to something in the past but you have no god with the knight of wands you're like a master alchemist like you you don't fuck around with that. Like, no one can lie about you. Why did you all have to fucking do that? Someone doesn't like me, want me talking about this. Hold on. So I'm definitely picking up on their energy because literally half the deck flew out and got smacked out of my hand. I don't know if y'all seen that. Probably didn't. Um, luckily, my bed's pushed out because my phone's charging, so I got to pick up the cards easily. Ha ha. But this is like a corrupt family that's lied about you for so fucking long, and they try to keep you stuck in the past. With that happening, that was confirmation. Yeah, and you moved on. This Queen of Cups reverse. Yeah. 
sees that you're strong enough to move on and that your ships are coming in. It's giving like someone is... Someone just keeps trying to defame you, to defile your character. Um, just so... Th someone looks delusional. You've already moved away from this person. You don't care about this person. Honestly, there's an energy of like not even not hate, but just extreme dislikement towards this person. Like this person has no use does not want to heal, and you know this. This is a very corrupt family. The Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups reverse. This person's miserable. And you know this. And there's nothing that this person wants to do. They don't want to be happy. The Queen of Wands came out, so this is definitely like a sister, an aunt, mother, female, you know, niece cousin, grandma, whomever, aunt even. I don't know if it's an aunt. But this is someone that's like, they're pissed off because you have so many options. And again, I'm picking up on the timeline again of like, this person has a son and or daughter who is doesn't do the shit that you do. They don't have a life. I'm not trying to be mean, but this person has a child that isn't doing anything with their life. And they are mad at you because you're the one actually doing things with your life and they they're just trying to slander you they're trying to break you down because you actually have businesses and it's like oh well i don't have a business and i never i never got to have a business well bitch it's a little too late now with the world reverse and the knight of sword the king of swords i mean that's the truth it's a bit too late these people are stuck in an old paradigm they're under judgment this could be dead family members. These people, like their passed over loved ones, are judging this person too. Yeah, four of cups reverse. Someone feels like a fucking. I was about to say bastard. Someone feels horrible with the devil. Someone's bound to the fucking. Someone's bound to the devil. I gotta stop cussing so much. <laughs> emperor in the upright. It's like your emperor is seeing you go through something. I don't know. People see you in this emperor energy. Like, yes, you're you're very authoritative, you're very you have all this power, but you're very like fair with it. And I don't know, man. Yeah. They see you people see you, male or female, just in this emperor energy of being authoritarian like of being a authority. Yeah, you're a power to be reckoned with. And this is why like hope yeah, someone's trying to sabotage your hope. It's really showing that people see what you go through. People know what you go through. And it's not... Like, maybe you are public about it. Maybe you're not. Maybe you're not public about it until something actually happens. And then you're like, okay, let me... Let me, because I'm not letting this shit slide. Because if y'all are going to, you know, hide under the bed and eat your fucking, like, mouse turds, I'm going to put your... I'm going to show videos of eating mouse turds online. You know what I mean? And that's the energy I'm picking up. With the Magician Reverse and the Eight of Cups Reverse, yeah, these people cannot walk back. You have some sort of power in the situation, conflict. Eight of Swords Reverse, you're not stuck in some sort of past conflict. These people are fighting amongst themselves at this point. It's like these people want to try and fight you for who you are. And it's just like... My son or my daughter looks like a bum compared to you. I'm going to ruin your life. Maybe you should fucking focus on your child instead of someone else. Yeah, three of, three of, uh, three of pinnacles and the knight of swords. Someone's work is being stopped. Someone was taking some impulsive fucking action and they're being stopped. Tower reverse, the high priestess reverse. Something has crumbled and fallen. For this person that was not thinking. Someone's not using their intuition. Someone's not thinking. They don't... They're very emotional when they think. They... Oh, God. This person's a buzzkill, dude. I don't know how this person... Like, maybe the, these people don't have friends. And I'm not even saying that in a mean way. I'm saying, like, these people lock themselves in in their house um refuse to go out um are very self-conscious and very mean to people um due to a lot of past unhealed energy it's like you someone might remind someone about you and they'll immediately not like you they'll just like oh you're just like so and so i just know you are i'm not gonna like you then it's given that 
It's gross. I'm using the Necronomicon. It's called, it's time. It's time to use the Necronomicon too. You know, fuck it. We're using it. Cause, uh, we're digging in. But Spirit, what else is going on? What else is going on? The four of Beaker's Reverse, yes. Someone can't control what they made. Not a Beaker's Reverse. Damn, dude. Yeah, someone cannot... Someone's fucked. And this is horrible energy. I don't know why I keep saying this is fucked. You know what I mean? But we had the four of Tor Beakers, the nine of Beakers, and the nine of Torches Reverse. Oh, my God. Someone is stuck in the past. Someone's stuck, stuck, stuck in the past. They cannot move forward at all. They feel hopeless. They're greedy as hell. But the nine of Torches Reverse... Someone is not resilient at all. Someone's like, their whole life is stopped because you're moving forward. The Knight of Torches, the Page of Pentacles, and the Four of Torches. Yeah. Someone knows that you have the wits, the will, the, the well-being, the intuition, the, the brain, the blitz, uh, to move forward with these plans. Like, they know that you know that whatever you do, you'll be fine in. And that, that's what pisses this person off, is that you're... It's also given, like, maybe you were supposed to take care of this person's, like, child when you... It's giving, like, maybe... Ooh. I really feel like that was supposed to be a thing. Like, you were supposed to take care of a family member because they were going through something and you just didn't. Um... And that was going to be, like, the only way you were going to be redeemed in these people's eyes. But even look here. You have, like, two people, a man and a woman, standing with their torches, uh, you know, not touching each other. Then you have these two kids wrapped with their arm wrapped around each other. Like, I feel like even, like, maybe at one point you were wanting to take care of this family member. You were wanting to have, like, a connection with this family member. Because I do see, like, it's good. But there's, like, people that just didn't like it. Maybe, like, I don't know. Maybe I'm picking up, like, a family member thought that you changed another family member. Like, this person, like, this cousin. I'm picking up cousin, nephew, niece energy. But they're... They like let's say you're gay or you're trans or you're spiritual. These people's that per, that child's parents were like, oh, you're gonna turn my child that way, and then maybe they turned out to be that way on their own accord because you can't. I mean, unless you're out here fucking brainwashing people, which is a subject that people know about. Um, you're not out here brainwashing people. You're not out here fucking making people follow your agenda you're just living your life and that pisses this person off because they want to press like this is like i i want to raise my child this way and then they see you and think that there's another way to go and there's not another way to go because i said that there wasn't a way to it's like you shut the fuck up there's like a million ways there's infinite possibilities on this earth um and your way is obviously not working because you're still a sour psych of shit so you might want to change what you're doing and just let someone live their life is the energy i'm picking up Shame and decay manipulation come out back to back again. That's hilarious. Because someone's plans are foiled. Someone's being left out. Someone's not coming back. Someone's left out in the cold. It's giving like... With shame and decay, it's like the whole... It's like a lineage. It's like the mother, the father, the, the son. You know? Like you have all of them. And then like, oh yeah, you're supposed to take care of them. And you're like, I don't want to. Like, even if, even if something bad happened, I don't want to. It's given that energy. And this, like, this family member wasn't innocent either. Maybe they talked shit about you behind your back, or they said things, or they were, like, a messenger to the main family to tell them things about you, to keep them in the loop of you, because you didn't want them watching you type energy. And it's like, you just know, and they know, and they're sorry for it, but they chose, yeah. They were juggling between some shit with the Two of Pentacles. But everyone knew that you were the key. And it's like they wanted you to juggle between um, being an abusive monster or being desolate and alone. And 
and you left and now everyone is a monster and desolate and alone because you were the only thing you were in the middle ground you were keeping everything balanced you left and now there's no balance in this in this dynamic aliens oh no aliens imagination yeah so someone i i pick up the energy that someone wanted to alienate you but also just like someone wanted you to be foreign to the family you know family members come around then oh well where's so and so oh it doesn't matter what happened to so and so we don't like so and so around here i don't know why i came at y'all like that but that's the energy i feels like i don't who cares about them they're not here it doesn't matter um we don't talk about them Shh, their name is a curse it's like voldemort you don't say their name like chill mama imagination they have a fucking crazy ass imagination that's for sure but Pete, these people were like that's the that's the high priestess too Like someone was like, someone, yeah, someone was keeping you astray because you listened to your intuition. And it's like, that's come out because why, like, I don't know, man, it's given just like, this person doesn't even want me talking about it. It's like pissing them off with the Knight of Beakers. This person definitely fucking monitors you. They stalk you. They have some sort of weird lust for you. Um... They want to come back into your life, but they know they can't, so they sit back and look at you through that little peek through a door. Um, and then they get pissed off when they see what you're doing. So it's like, if you really don't care, then why are you looking so deeply into it? Because they want the ten... Because, yeah, ten of pentacles, nine of pentacles. Because you have a destined family life to live with the King of Pentacles. Or maybe you are this King of Pentacles energy as well. Take it as it resonates. But someone knows that you're coming into the Ten of Pentacles by yourself. And it's like, oh, so what about us? So you're really not going to like allow us? It's like, no, because I don't have a way to like... It's giving like these people ostracized you they they fucking outcasted you and then they got pissed off at you that you didn't contact them despite them not wanting you to contact them and then they see you glow up and have a beautiful life and have like such all all this like abundance and then they get more pissed off oh so you're not sharing that with us was i supposed like was i supposed to like y'all never someone doesn't think someone is they're so overly fucking emotional they this is nar. this is like extreme narcissism this is like paranoia narcissism some sort of like bipolar disorder maybe unhealed anger issues mommy daddy issues it's like it's i don't have it so you can't either and you still have it in fact you have more of it um and it's also given like they want to stick the, like someone sticking their ass out and like, oh, well, I have all the power and I'm going to prove that I have all, like, no, you have no power because you can't control yourself. Like if you had, yeah, if you had power, why is your world ending with the void reverse, the world reverse? Everyone sees that their lives are falling apart. The, this like, who's stuck behind the moon? Where are they trying to hide? The Tin of Torches revert. Yeah, the, their world is ending and like it's being revealed that you're not held back or burdened, which is abysmal to these people is how it's coming through. With the Queen of Books reverse, that's definitely like a sister aunt figure, very bitchy. Um, and just they lie about you. They, they have a one track mind. The hamster on the wheel inside of their brain is not running anymore. It's kind of just strolling. And it's like they feel like no one can change on this earth. And like, oh, I'll believe it when I see it. And then they see it. Oh, I still don't believe it. I don't care. I don't want to believe it. No, I, I, I'm not an asshole. I'm going to make sure that you look like an asshole for the rest of my life. Honey, you might have like 15 or 10 years left. I'm not trying to curse anyone. I'm just hearing what I'm hearing. Someone has picked up some sort of gen generational curse. Like some sort of curse was 
transmuted, like, not even transmuted. It was like it was lifted up from you and put on this person. Like, oh, so collective, you used to suffer in this way. Now this person is. Like, can you survive it? They're not, I don't, this person might actually just like, you know, from this. I'm not going to say the word because, you know, but. This is like. Y'all need to realize that holding resentment does things to the body, actually. Why do you think Earth Angels have, like, the fountain of youth glitch in life? Like, we always, like, beautiful. We're always glowing. We're always, like, happy and, and no wrinkles. Well, you know, aging wrinkles, but we don't have anything, like, scary or drastic. You know what I mean? We look very beautiful. We look younger than how we are. Because we have no resentment in us. And if we do have resentment, you bet your fucking ass for healing that shit or doing our best to. This person can't do that, and they're literally, like, turning pale. Like, I know this person's, like, an energy vampire, but they're actually turning, like, white. Like, they're dying, and it's not okay. And, like, people see this, but they're not telling anyone that they do black magic. Someone has... Like a miniature voodoo doll. I'm seeing it so fucking blank clearly. It's kind of funny. They have three pins in it. One in the crotch. One uh, in the throat. And one on the head. So they're trying to hit your root, your throat, and your, your third eye, crownish area. But it's like a voodoo doll like that big. It's like a car ornament. What the fuck am I seeing? Like someone has like a car ornament voodoo doll that they carry and they're like, they y'all are fucking crazy. Y'all really go buy like tiny ass voodoo dolls that you put in your car and then stab it. I'm like what the fuck? Oh, the light's red. <laughs> like y'all got a fucking, no wonder you're looking so ugly, mama. <laughs> it's like you could have died. I'm like you out here stabbing a voodoo dog because the rights. I, I ain't even. I ain't gonna get into it. I ain't gonna get into it. That's crazy. I literally seen like a fucking like that tall, like literally that tall of a voodoo doll, and it's like they're, they're put it hung it up like on the fucking mirror, on the front view mirror of their car. Why? Y'all are fucking weird. Y'all quit that shit. No what? Like, no what? I mean, at this point, God's looking at you like, really? Like, okay. If y'all want to do that, go for it. But I ain't going to save your ass when shit's the fan. These are fucking psychos, dude. These are psychos. These are psychos. On God. Yeah. The lovers reverse and the five of wands. Really, they're in conflict for the shitty ass things that they're doing. The deals that they shit. The handshakes that they made. They're getting bad. Yeah, they're on the wrong side of justice. It, came, it flopped out twice. It tried to go back in the deck and it popped back out again. No, someone's not getting... A good judgment. And someone's on the wrong side of justice. They are. Oh yeah. Yep. And their path, they got that magic going straight back to them. And the, the they know. They even know with the high priestess as well. They know that this this magic is going back to them. There's nothing they can do about it. The wheel of fortune is here in your name. Four of swords. Get some rest. The fool and the moon. Wow. Don't worry, like, you might be a little scared of where you're going to jump and where you're going to land, but the wheel is in your favor, so don't worry. It, I, this is so sad. The tower, I mean, shit, yeah, the tower and the chariot. Why do y'all keep coming out together? That's scary. That's going to get a little nerve-wracking for me. The amount of times I shuffle this deck and, like, mix up all the cards... The tower and the chariot keep coming out. This tower is active, like, this has been an active, like, tower that's just constantly coming towards them. It's like they do one thing and it, it, it instantly backfires. The strength reverse and hermit. Yeah, someone is not strong enough. 
someone might be in isolation because they're not strong enough to like handle all this or they're trying to keep you isolated I think someone knows that if you're around someone for too long you'll know what the fuck's going on but like you don't even need to be around them that much to know with the star and the moon yeah someone doesn't know how you have this much faith I literally just heard I don't know why God likes you so much this is a fake believer this is a non-believer that's fucking salty that they can't be an asshole and get what they want the six of pentacles and the eight of cups and the sun yeah you you they walked away from god and you stuck to it but like you walked away from these people and it's been revealed that these people were the the assholes like you walked away for a good reason these people aren't good at all they're assholes yeah king of swords not as pentacles and the six of swords reverse that's the truth and the truth is that they're only walking towards like some sort of desolation. They're not moving forward. They're stuck. They're for, they're, they, their slow forward movement has gone to a complete halt. You're constantly moving. These people aren't moving anywhere. Ace of Wands, death, because of this death magic. This death magic's not going towards you. With the Knight of Cups reverse, yeah, I know. It's not going towards you. It's going back to them. Knight of Cups reverse, the Four of Cups. The Seven of Cups reverse and the Six of Wands. This death magic is going back to people. It's not hitting you. And you get to move on victoriously. You get to move on with love and peace in your heart. Like, congratulations. That's what you get. With the Five of Cups, this person very much is in a lot of regret. Um, but they won't... They're more pissed off at you than they're in regret because you're still winning and moving forward. And they're scared that you're moving forward so quickly. That you're so stable. Someone's scared about your stability in this new cycle. Like, they don't like how you're going to be stable in this new cycle. They don't, really don't like that at all. And... Hmm... It's going to piss them off because they're really going to want you to take care of something and you're, it's not looking too good. Yeah, with the Two of Cups, the Princess of Cups, and then the um, Knight of Wands following that. It's like someone is going to come to you and be like, so um, are you going to help us with this, this, and that? And you're just, no, not at all. I don't want to. It's like you win the lottery and you get like $10,000. And his family is like, oh, are you going to give any to us because we're your family? And you go, no. And they're like, why not? I, but I thought you loved us. It's like, well, bitch, I love everyone. Actually, that's the kicker. Um, but you haven't done anything for me, so I, I'm excluding you. And they don't want to, it's like someone is so awkward. It's just giving awkward energy. It's like, oh. Yeah, it's it's so awkward. I don't understand. I don't. I do want to use these. Let's see what else is coming up in here. Someone's confused about why you invested in something. Or someone's confused why they don't get the same outcomes and things that they're invested in. But you do Someone needs to mind their own business. <laughs> Someone needs to just mind their own business. Solar plexus chakra, sacral chakra, heart chakra. Goddamn, and shocked. Someone's shocked about your creativity, your love, um, and how comfortable you are with yourself. 
why does that bother these people? Someone is just like, oh, see, so you love yourself. You're okay with being who you are, and you're creative, and you're, and you have like a bunch of like vitality. That's weird. And this person could be high all the time, or they don't fucking think straight. Um, but that's their thing. I don't know. Penny pinching, yeah. This person's. It might might be in debt. Someone doesn't know how much money you have or how much money you're making. Or someone's trying to hide some sort of money from you. Um, Pandora's box is open. There's a portal. This could have been the eclipse. Someone, something on the eclipse, like, happened with some sort of money. Maybe they... I'm picking like maybe they lost some sort of money on the eclipse like it just like poofed away they don't know where it went so think about a portal opening though and they like that allowed you to have more access for this money of yours and someone just didn't know or it was like someone thought that they had yes yeah watching Someone was watching your money. It's like someone lost access to watching your accounts or something. Because of this uh, eclipse energy. Summon rituals. What's going on with that? Oh, God's seen these people fucking do rituals to mask themselves. Or maybe someone did a, a fucking ritual. Um, and then use the false ID to do something. God's seen that, and it's gonna be made back to it's gonna be made uh, balanced and fair. Someone's pissed off and unamused that God's not working with them, which I mean, I, that's your fault. You should really just decide to work with God instead of against God, especially if you're gonna say that you believe and and follow His word. Like let's be real. Someone needs to invest in some rest, or you need to invest in some getting some more rest. There is a rebirth happening. A new life is coming on. Someone is... Someone's sick due to all this conflict and, conf uh, conflict and confusion. Someone's fallen, like, actually ill due to all this. It's, it's manifested on the physical. Every, like, bit of drama that they did for entertainment is now controlling their life. Um... It's like someone was wondering who was putting their hands in a cookie jar, and then they, someone set up, like, CCTV in front of the cookie jar, and everyone that, you know, that was stealing your cookies got caught, and now it's like, hey, I've seen you, i seen you steal these cookies, and they're like, I didn't steal them. Yeah. So, well, that's so funny about me saying CCTV, someone can't, someone's, like, not gonna stalk you anymore. A death may lead to someone stop. Uh, death may end up making someone stop stalking you. What the fuck does that even mean? Confirmation with that click. Why? Why is someone waiting for someone to die? Is someone? Oh, is your stalker gonna die? And if that's what they get, that's what they get. I'm not the judge, but we have death and stalker. It could be an ending to these glamour spells too, but mm, this person who's been stalking you might just click the ticket because they won't fucking keep their eyes. Yeah, because doing this now. Oh. Yeah. Because we are entering the. Uh, is it the waning or waxing? Cause we're about to hit the full the the full moon. Someone might pass away on the full moon. But this moon magic is going back and hitting someone regardless. And it's like whoever's been stalking you with this magic or stalking you in general, they're gonna click it to tick it out. Cause you already won something. It's yours. Someone may be going to jail. This clown who's acting like a fool in a oh wow damn. Yeah. Someone's in trouble. So we have jail time for this clown who's acting like a fool and a baby. Or this cl this f uh, clown could have had, like, their child acting a certain way towards you. Someone's going to jail or is trapped and they're in trouble because they're blocked in somewhere. There's, like, a wall blocking them. 
you healed so you ghosted someone and that I feel like that's why or someone's ghosting you because you healed and they don't think that you should heal from something someone doesn't like that you someone doesn't like that you moved on someone it's like oh how the fuck do you get to move on that's not fair that you, well, you you're such a bad person you don't get to move on you're such a horrible person I'm trapped in my head um, because I refuse to do the healing work and I'm a big fat baby so that means that you should be a horrible person because I can't I can't do it but you can that's not fair that's the energy I'm picking up on so gross so pathetic so low vibrational so stupid Jupiter oh boy Jupiter's bringing a tower upon these people because they like you've grown and that's a tower of these people Jupiter energy is heavy like your talents spirits around you your growth is here that's caused a, t a warning a tower for someone someone could be being warned that their ego is flashing their ego light is on and it's like if you don't quit you're actually going to get in trouble so I need you to step out of your little baby wham wham energy and face the facts yeah your angels want you to know that you are safe though you are very much safe and protected at this time anything that people try to do in the dark is seen and going to be revealed to you um Keep an eye out for your angel signs. You have a lot of security and comfort and growth coming on your way. You've gone through a rebirth with Pluto energy being here with power and alchemy. You are an alchemist, of course. Um, especially if you're part of my tribe. Welcome, I'm an alchemist. How we doing? How we feeling? Hopefully, good. Wow, we got a lot of planets out today. We got we got Saturn. We got Jupiter, Pluto, Uranus. I'm feeling Saturn energy too, but Saturn's not even out here yet. But, like, you're unique, you're yourself. Someone wants to call you, like, a rebel, but you're a good rebel. Like, you rebel against the dark. So who gives a shit? These people are stuck in a cycle. Um, and any type of spell work, any type of divination spy that you gets interrupted, or someone gets really pissed off whenever they do divination spy on you because it's not giving them what they want. And then, I don't... I'm, you know what I mean? Yeah, because it's time. It's time for something to just not work. To be void and null. Because your ancestors are here. To bring harmony. You, you've you completed some sort of mission. A uh, spiritual mission that you've been on. And you're moving on to the next level. Um, these people... It's like you keep failing the same test over and over again. Do you really think anything's going to happen? You're kind of like... Deranged. Someone might be shocked. Someone might be getting kicked out of a house. Someone might be needing to move somewhere and they're shocked. It's like, oh, what the fuck? This could happen in someone's sleep. Someone could, mm. Yeah, someone doesn't know where the fuck they're going to go, I feel like. Someone's really lost. Someone could be notified. Like, they, someone could be sent a message in their sleep about something happening and they wake up. That's like, oh, the big shocker. Like, hey, um, you, you are being removed from this, um area yeah we have crossroads we have choice unknown and leap of faith so someone doesn't know where the fuck to go meanwhile you almost kind of know where to go someone's gonna try and do something yeah someone's trying to someone's gonna try and well there you are Saturn I seen you what the fuck Someone's going to try to take a leap of faith to try and blind you or to make you feel guilty uh, for being victorious, for having your blessings. Uh, but this is just a lesson of being disciplined. Saturn is here. Challenges. This is a challenge that you've overcome. This is a lesson that you've learned. God has seen you go through this lesson, and God has deemed that it's over um, as well. This is over. The backfire is here. Something is completely done. There's no reason. I feel like there's another reason why someone's confused. They don't understand why it's over. Because you have this knowledge that they of what they've done. And you like you get an upgrade. And that causes the ending for these people. Your your beauty is one of a kind, and people are confused. How you had time to connect the points of them stealing something from you? 
It's like someone doesn't understand how you know that they were behind everything, despite it being extremely obvious. Uh, Hathor flew out. Hathor is here on these people. Thank you, Hathor. Thank you, Hathor. <laughs> yeah, warning came out as well. Hathor is here to bring a tower on these people. Um, and she ain't fucking around. I'll leave it at that, you know. Um, I don't know. I, th I feel like that's it. This is going to be a shorter message. Oh, man. So let me, let me get the... Actually, here. Because I'm feeling this as well. Before I get the T deck, let me see spirit come through with the sacred symbol oracle what do we need to do as a collective what do we need to be aware of and what do we need to do as a collective you come out uh remember that you have a lot of affluence in this situation um you are in control in the situation so don't forget that um yeah and that should be a big relief to you something is going to be a big relief to you um, you have, you have, yeah, it's like you have some sort of knowledge of the situation that other people are going to listen to. Uh, we have karmic path. You are being relieved of this karmic path in, in life. There is a need to meditate. Uh, you have good luck coming on your side as well. Is there anything else we need to know, spirit? Yeah, new moon. This new moon brought a lot of luck on your side. Uh, shadow in reverse. You're no longer operating in your shadow side or your shadow side is under control, you've grown from it. Yeah, someone might be sending you a message that might give you some sort of emotions, but you can trust that you're gonna be able to move forward from this safely. This is gonna help you transform. You may be moving to a new area, uh, but regardless, stay grounded. There might be some distant travels in, this, in the future. You might be going overseas. Uh, power is here as well with Hathor symbol, which is a confirmation. Yeah, someone's sending you evil eye. Um, because you're the key, but you are protected from it. Don't worry. We have talisman out there So if y'all have talismans, they are definitely at working against this uh, evil eye this jealousy uh, Your talismans are definitely doing the work And I feel like someone's jealous that you actually have talismans and I feel like it's like someone just doesn't like that you're Equipped like oh you shouldn't be equipped. You don't know anything not everyone's like you, sister. This is such weird energy. This is such weird energy. So I'm gonna, we're gonna get into the T deck, and then I'm gonna do the animal cards, and then I'm gonna do the angel cards. <laughs> I love saying it like that. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> Shuffle two more times with this. Okay, y'all want to come out. Not really. Yeah, they are mad. They mad on the bottom. And they mad came out again. It literally like flipped. That's so crazy. I'm going to shuffle two more times. Spirit. We also have money signs. So you are going to increase on abundance in general. Money, um, finance of any kind. So don't worry if you've been worried about that. I'm going to shuffle two more times. They know you know. Whatever is going on, they know you know. And that's an... It's like, I don't know. Someone... Someone's pissed off that it's like someone's pissed off that you know what they're doing and you don't even have to be around them to know. But it's just like, yeah, this person can't divination spy on you, or you're not divination spying on this person, which they feel like you're doing. Uh, keep meditating. This moon magic is going back to people, so look forward. Be patient. Someone's not in their life purpose. Keep praying. 
you don't have a distorted view on the situation. Don't worry. Someone's sacral chakra is out of fucking whack. Probably because they're doing so much fucking voodoo on it, dumbass. You're a rare gem. Um, someone does not have a new contract, a water sign. Or a water sign stuck in the past. Uh, you're making all the right turns, so don't worry. Your throat chakra is aligned, so don't be afraid to express yourself. This is a rat in your energy. You're safe from this rat. Uh, you're not a sore loser because you didn't fucking lose. Your IL is here to give you strength. So thank you, your IL. Um, w or M. It's a W or M. We have Z. Uh, 444, four, four. your manifestations are definitely coming in, honey. Someone's lost because uh, they can't cleanse their energy. A karmic masculine who has entity attachments. You have risk-taking success. This is a good sigil for it, too. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, you're getting an upgrade. All of them. Every single last one of them. U. Yes, U. D. W. I hear DUI. Someone might get, like, a DUI. We have X. Your X. X, G. C. E. Oh, my goodness. U. Oh, my lord. F. F, U again. Libra. Someone doesn't like you, Libra. Or a Libra is telling you F you. Um, who fucking cares about that Libra? Um, don't stop. Sage your energy. Pisces is a Debbie Downer because they're a fallen angel and they've been busted. Metatron is here to give you change and insight. Michael is here to defend you. So thank you, Metatron and Michael for being here. So, use some music therapy. Um, um, you know... Meditate with music, all sorts of fun stuff. I got the meditation tracks on there, on the channel to help with that too. Someone's a doodle bob and their plans have failed. They can't divination spy on you. They're not going to get correct information. Because your vibration is raised too high. Aries is being exposed for being an energy vampire. Someone's crown magic. Crown chakra is going is off. They do not have any connection to the divine. Crown magic, yeah. You can get some rest because you're not being set up by a karmic masculine and they're salty as fuck. T, that is the T. Someone's spreading rumors about you, um, but in divine time, something's not happening in divine timing for these people. Joy Fell is here to give you joy. Um, a fire sign is a smart ass because they're not on their life path and they're misusing their gifts. Sucks to be you, fire sign. Yeah, they're fucking crazy, bro. I. Someone could be an IT. 22, you're a master builder. Magic backfire times 20. It's coming. It's coming. It's cutting throats. Pay attention to angel numbers, dude. Someone's doing the uh, bonding magic on you, but within, but the, the divine is guiding you. 888, eight, eight, you got money coming in. Energy vampires in your energy field. Uh, the reason why is because they're not seeing any progress with their life. Their mask has fallen off. We have N. <sighs> is trying to curse or hex you. You got a weirdo in your energy. You can relax though. Capricorn, crappy Capricorn is out the window. You're safe and sound because you love yourself and these are just a bunch of narcissists. Just a bunch of them. A bunch of them. I don't know why they like to gain up so much. They do them. We have Joy Phil to give you joy. We have Michael to defend you. We have Metatron to give you change and insight, and we have URL to give you strength. So thank you all so much. Let's see here. <sighs> that yawn was in, like, I feel like that yawn was really the energy. Just a big yawn. So Animals Kingdom, how we doing today? I'm gonna shuffle three more times. We got a lot of animal cards. I, I felt like there was gonna be a lot of them. Now we're gonna take the bottom. I feel like taking the split too. I don't know why, I just do. Ooh, I'm telling. Um, we have Swan, which is love. You have found your soulmate, or they are just around the corner. Remember that when two souls are destined to be together, they always find each they always find their way back to each other. All those things you had to go through were worth it. 
bear with his strength. The bear symbolizes a strong source of support in times of difficulty or, or adversity. It may be time for you to stand uh, for your beliefs or your truth with strength and confidence. You are free to roam and at will and follow your path. And dear, which is gentleness. This is a reminder to be more gentle with yourself and others. The grace and sensitivity and gentleness of the spirit animal echo qualities brought forth when living from the heart. Bobcat, which is mystery. The bobcat teaches you that there is true power and strength in silence and patience. In order to get what you want, you must be willing to plan, adapt, and above all, have the patience to see your dreams manifest. Zebra, which is open-mindedness. There is more than one way of looking at things. You must be ready to accept all alternative viewpoints and new ideas. You must open your eyes to new ideas and new ways of resolving problems. Cardinal, which is adventure. I've been seeing a lot of cardinals today. Uh, you need to live up to your fullest potential, explore new directions, and take risks in order to grow as an individual. Change may be uncomfortable, but it is necessary. Right Raven, which is confidence. You are encouraged to disconnect from the physical or materialistic plan and move toward uh, move to the spiritual realm. You have a deep spiritual connection, which you mustn't ignore. You are on the brink of transformation, and your divine purpose may be revealing itself. We have Hippopotamus, which is exploration. If you have become bored with your life, you have the power to create. You have the creative power to stir up things and revitalize everything. You can do this by starting new projects, starting new goals, and making spiritual connections. We have Rabbit, which is cleverness. You have been going through difficult times. It's time to think outside the box to find a solution. This is also a reminder to avoid neglecting your creative side. If you if you have let creative projects lapse, it may be time to pick them up again. Armadillo, which is protection. You are entering a phase where in order for you to be in alignment with your intentions and co-create your best life, you may have to uh, be discerning and say no to many things that have been holding you back in the past. We have Tiger, which is patience. You are being reminded that persistence is what is necessary to attain your goals. You need to be patient and trust that the universe will help you through your challenges and divine timing. Success is guaranteed. We have Buffalo, which is abundance. Buffalo and liberation are finally on the way. It comes to you now to remind you of the amazing manifesting power of gratitude. You will always have plenty when you express gratitude to every part of creation. And last but not least, dog, which is loyalty. You may be feeling like those around you let you down or are not doing their fair share of work. This comes as a reminder that loyalty exists and you must not settle for anything less. You deserve better than mixed signals. Let me tell you, I agree to that one. <laughs> um, we're going to get your uh, angel cards. And then we're going to see what's going on with the angel cards. I don't know why I pause like that. My brain just kind of, oh, haywire. That's okay. So what angels, what do you want to say, spirit? What do y'all want to say? What's going on here, spirit? So let's see here, angels, how are we doing this? <gasps> Don't fall off the bed. I'm going to shuffle five more times, y'all. I'm starting to worry. Oh, wow. Okay, so... So we have first the divine physician Archangel Raphael. Thank you, Raphael, for shining your divine light upon my healthy body. Spiritual support. Dear angels, I allow you to support me as I grow to become more spiritually aware. Unconditional love with the Divine Mother. Thank you, Divine Mother, for the helping me to give and receive the love I desire. Peaceful Warrior with Archangel Ariel. Thank you, Ariel, for helping me stand my ground with peace. 
Spirit animal, thank you, animal kingdom, for blessing my path with love. Always. Trustworthy friends, thank you, angels, for surrounding me with people I can trust and love. Peace and harmony with Archangel Raguel. Thank you, Raguel, for surrounding my life in a harmonious light. Manifesting miracles with Archangel Orion. Thank you, Orion, for manifesting your miracles in my world. The miracle of forgiveness, Archangel Jeremiah. Thank you, Jeremiah, for helping me to understand the process of forgiveness. Spiritual gifts, Archangel Raziel. Thank you, Raziel, for helping me to channel my gifts and talents. Honor your beauty with Archangel Joe I feel. Thank you, Joe I feel, for helping me discover my inner and outer beauty. And last but not least, love and accept yourself. Thank you, angels, for lovingly guiding me to self-acceptance. Beautiful. But yeah, that's your reading. Um, I hope it helped. Um, I hope y'all got what y'all wanted and needed out of it. Thank you all for all the support that you give me. It means the world to me tenfold and back. A tenfold forever i mean i love you all <laughs> to the moon and back forever and always um and i will see you all later